are back for our third Art in the Park Chalk Festival celebration <laughs> on March 25th this yeah. year. Uh, we're super excited. Saturday from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. Completely yep. free and family friendly. You already know. Absolutely. Well, you might think you know, but we're going to confirm that now. Yaya yeah, yeah, explains how this event came to be. And it was because years ago, our sister city, Savannah, I fell in love with their Art in the Park project that they had. And I was like, man, we're missing something here. And me and Liz, we sat down, we collabed about events, and I told her about it. And she fell in love. She's like, we could do that here in Jackson, but we have so many amazing artists that it just... Was just, it naturally came together. And we want to make sure that we are inspiring future artists. Exactly. So one of the things that we're doing, especially this year, is our student artists will have mentors that are professional artists. And so all of our student artists will get real-time uh, mentorship from these fabulous artists that we've got coming through. And uh, it will hopefully inspire them to continue their art for years and years to come. While the artists are stoked to showcase their chalk drawing skills, there's an added incentive to participate. It is a competition. Let's see. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you're you're going to edit this, right? You better. Leave it all, leave it all. <laughs> in. Leave it all in. Um, yes, we have, it is a competition. Obviously, thank you to our sponsors, PNC Bank and um, Karen F Fagan, who is one of our judges. Thanks to them, we're able to put this on. And we got prizes, our cash prize. For the top is one thousand five hundred dollars. Uh huh. Yes. And for students, the top prize is five hundred dollars. Yes. So yes. it's not a little small competition. You know, we know that these, the artists are going to be here from starting at nine in the morning. They'll be here. The festival starts at twelve, but they're going to be here starting at nine. And so we appreciate all the labor work that they do. So we want to make sure that the winner definitely feels the love. Also, we have a a popular contest, a popularity contest. So uh, you can come out and vote for your favorites so the audience can get involved. You'll get one free token for just for coming in, but then you can uh, purchase, purchase additional tokens and really stack the deck for your favorite artist. There are 20 adult artists and 10 students participating, so that comp is going to be fierce. And if someone is feeling inspired but is not a part of the competition, well, there's a place for you as well. Yeah, we will have an area for the kids to be able to draw. And for any adults that want to get inspired, for sure, uh, we'll have a little area that be, everybody will be able to let out their creativity with the chalk. There are other things going on at Art in the Park besides the chalk drawing. We're going to have DJ Wiz Kid in the house and other fun activities in the park that people will be able to appreciate. Vendors, food trucks, and just live entertainment. MOCA, Museum of Contemporary Art, they'll have an event table just for kids. They're also free on Saturdays, so you're welcome to come enjoy the art in the park. Go to MOCA. It's all free. Have a full day of art right here in downtown Jacksonville. The ladies have one final thought they'd like to share with the community, especially if you come out and take and post pics. What's the hashtag? Hashtag Art in the Park Jacks. Yes. Art in the Park Jacks, please. Um, and more than anything, just come out and support for artists, follow them on Instagram, vote for your favorite, and just enjoy a day of art in the park. Noted. I'm Rance Adams for River City Live. So, like I said, it's going down from noon to five at James Weldon Johnson Park. Fun for the home, whole family and incorporates my second favorite F word, which is free. You can find out more information on Facebook and at jamesweldonjohnsonpark.org. Mark?